This is Sam. He suffered a stroke a year ago, and his left hand got paralyzed. His ability to perform activities of daily living independently became limited. According to the World Health Organization, annually, 15 million people worldwide suffer a stroke. One in every six people will face stroke in their lifetime. Stroke is a leading cause of disability worldwide. While full recovery is possible, many survivors end up having some type of disability. Depending on where one's brain is damaged, a person may have less serious weakness or spasticity of a limb. But for most survivors, stroke rehabilitation is a long-term process lasting months and even years. This was Sam's case, and he needed to relearn to use his impaired hand. To be able to do that, he had to practice a lot and stimulate his brain. Recent research on animals and humans has demonstrated that the brain continues to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. This phenomenon, called neuroplasticity, allows existing neural pathways that are inactive or used for other purposes to take over and carry out functions lost due to injury. Researchers also claim that our brain is capable of changing even years after a stroke. Regular training and an increase in task complexity results in enhanced neuroplasticity. Patients who have motor deficit following the stroke need to actively use their impaired limbs to promote recovery. This is called motor relearning that involves exercises aimed at improving patients' muscle strength and coordination. So, four months ago, Sam started using Hand of Hope our innovative technology that helps stroke survivors regain hand function through active rehabilitation training. Built upon the principles of neuroplasticity, motor relearning, and neurorehabilitation, the Hand of Hope system is a comprehensive stroke rehabilitation mechanism. The system offers five different games with four difficulty levels, as well as audio and visual stimulation. The device can be moved by the will of a user. To complete tasks, users need to actively use their brain, thus training it and relearning motor skills. As both the intensity and duration of trainings are adjustable to the individual patient level, the Hand of Hope enhances patient's capacity for recovery. Two months later, Sam was already able to open his hand and grasp objects with less effort. While any recovery is triggered by multiple factors, strong motivation is a key to successful rehabilitation. Medical practice shows that a positive, stimulating environment facilitates better learning. To promote maximum recovery, therapy must be enjoyable and exciting for patients. And that's what the Hand of Hope is about. Sam is excited to perform various interesting tasks while actively using his impaired hand. So, continuing to use the Hand of Hope, Sam is regaining his hand function in an effective and enjoyable manner. Doctors say his chances for stroke rehabilitation are very high now. Learn more about Hand of Hope on www.rehab-robotics.com or talk to our local distributor in your area now.